So let me continue. Let me continue with, uh, this is part seven with it. And um, I want to talk to you about this part in here with it. Um, again, you're in the body. Uh, I should really call this part. This is, uh, I'm, let me call this, a, this the first row. And this, so we don't have to be confused with this. The first row. So the first row of the page starts here with it. And I share with you the first, what it looks like with it. The second part with this. Now, to make it easy, you make sure you don't have any green line or squiggly line in here with it, with it uh, as well with it. So it's linking, and we saw what it looks like on the other side for the same. All we're going to do this time, we're just going to flip it, right? So to flip it, what I mean flipping it, is we're going to change the column 66 to column 33, and we're going to take this, this part up here, we're going to put the other image in here, move this text down to the bottom. Does that make sense with it? So that's all you're doing with it, all right? So let me do this, let me do this. So this next part, which is the second row, right here. Let me zoom in. And the second part, you're gonna take, again, it's the div tag with it. It's a, it's a div tag, you need to start out with it. But this actually, it takes up the, you need the second row, right? So it needs just another row that starts in here with it. So I wanna copy this part with it. Let me do this so you don't be confused. Uh, we need a div tag of row, right? So I'm going to copy that this time uh, with it. Now, this time we're going to alter this color, the second row. Let's make that a little different with it because I want it to be uh, uh, a different color, uh, kind of like an alternating color as we could see with it. All right. So let's do this. Let's do a container uh, with it. Uh, come up here uh, we need to look at the container my apology my apology with this because the first one we looked at it, it had a container so let's do this that first row right here so we need to come here let me show you this so I want to put all of this in a container all of this right now I'm gonna put in the container uh, it's just gonna be in a container so be formatted evenly with it I don't like the way how the slits kind of offsets it with it as well so let's do this. Let me minimize this with it. So take this, what you have here, highlight this entire block that you have that I just did with it. Be careful. If you hit tab, hit tab, you see how that indents it in? If you accidentally hit something else, it deletes it. Control Z will bring it back. It means undo, right? So place your cursor about right here uh, outside of it and hit shift, enter, or hit enter one more time, and move it over like I have. I want to, I'm going to put in another tag right now, the div tag. Let's put that in a div, open up a div tag. This div tag I'm going to call the class is called container. Come to the right of that, close that off, and close off this. Right, I should have done this in the first start, but I need to move this div, just right highlight closing the forward slash and the div, right mouse click on it, cut and place it right here, right where it needs to be paired, right here. You see where my cursor is blinking right there? Control V. So it pairs it, I want this, when I click on it, make sure it pairs it, right? And there, inside of that, now I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Control S, saves it, right mouse click, open a live server. So all this is not in a container, just have to bear with me what this thing looks like right now. You see, it, you see it a lot more. Let me zoom out on it. See, this looks more like this. This is what I want with it because I was zooming in too close. But this whole thing is in a container. You see there's padding here. Okay, we give a padding. It's aligned to the left with it. So this whole thing right now, this the first two columns, uh, if you think about this whole page, is divided to three. This is two-thirds of a page, which is 66. This right here is the other one-third, okay? So the nice thing about this is that it's going to be responsive, meaning what? Look at this. When I resize this, all right, you see how that image moves down to the bottom? All right. So that's what I want in, uh, in here as well with it. And it's going to, it's going to be a zigzag pattern. It's going, to, it's going to be responsive with it as well. Okay. So that's the, the last thing. We need to edit that part with it. So make sure you have that part. Looks like this. Okay. Pause your, your computer, make sure it looks exactly like mine uh, before we move forward with it as well. Make sure it's indented, 
and before the corrections made it right here with it. Now, I want to highlight this section right here. Highlight it. I'm going to copy this. Come to the right of my starting out my next section. Control V, paste it. It's just pasting it down there, right? But watch. Command S. Let's look at this browser right here. We just copy that first row and paste it here. This time, I want to move this image to over here, and we want to move the text to over here. So the first part is going to be the first set of columns, the 33, and the second one is going to be what? 66, right? So let's let's look at this for a second. So we we need to swap. Basically, I'm going to take this part right here. This is the 33. This needs to be text. You agree? This is this is supposed to be text right here, right? So you're going to take this text right here. Take that text right here. Just cut. And then I want to move this down. Place that in the row. This is between the row div. Okay. Come up here. Tighten this thing up a little bit. Okay. So this time, again, I just swap this image to fit here and bring this on top to it. Command S saves it. I want to change the image out in a second here with it, right? So I saved it. You see how that image got moved over here and the text got moved over here with it, right? So it gives you a little bit more space and, and text with it. This is the X large and this is the this is the large with it. So your eyes are drawn to the image with it is my point. Okay. So let me minimize this right now. Now, if you look at oh, let me go back here. We're almost done here. So we got, let me zoom in, zoom out with this. So this is the image here, image here. We're going to change that image here with it. So let's come back over here this time around with it. I want you to come in this time. Let's change some of this text here. Uh, this, this one is going to be, uh, I'm, I'm going to call this uh, my animation. Okay, my animation. My animation. A little different. All right, so that's going to be my animation. This uh, this image that I I have here, I'm going to change that. I don't like that image. I'll give that a different image. So again, come into line 30. I'm going to hit a forward slash. I want to pick the 132. It gives me a little different image this time. Okay. So Command S saves it. All right. Let's look at this over the browser, and you can see this is a different image. This is my animation. This is my digital image with it. So you're going to have some animation over here. Uh, I want to show you how to do that and animate with it. Again, these texts are all placeholder. In here, these texts, potentially, you need to talk how you came up with this project. All right? You need to describe to me what inspired you to create this logo. All right? Again, this is your class project you're going to work towards, too. All right? Uh, now, guess what? You got your second row. I'm going to highlight the second row. Again, let me let me tighten this up with it. Let me tighten this up. Oop. Oh, gosh. That's what it's supposed to look like. All right. So this, this right here, I want to highlight this right here. This is the start of the second row. Let me highlight all of that all the way down to here. One more, right here. Okay. Guess what I'm going to copy this time. I'm going to copy the first row, right? I don't want to copy the second row. I want to do the first row again. So it's a zigzag pattern, right? So copy that first row that you have right here. All right. Copy it. I'm doing, I'm copying the first row. I'm going to come down after what? Right here, right? So Come down here, paste that. I want to change this. This is my third row, right? And inside of this, again, uh, you have various projects. 
You can call this one is going to be my vector graphics. I don't know. Vector image, right? So you have a, a bitmap, you have a raster size, okay, is, is, your, is what's called bitmap, and your vector, okay? So this is what you're going to be using as the illustrator to create this thing as well. Again, let's change the image with this time. I gave you three images with it. Um, so let's take out this image that we have right here by using a forward slash. And we use the 186 is the last one with it. All right. Uh, these images, you know, I, I kind of kept it the same size, you know, I, I kind of cheated a little bit with it, but that's okay. It's, it's just a placeholder with it. Command S saves it. Come open your browser and you see how this is a zigzag pattern with it, right? And this is what you're trying to achieve is this end product of this. Your portfolio is going to look very similar to this with it. You know, I'm going to add in a little bit more bells and whistles to it as well. But you got to be able to put your graphics on here and talk about your graphics and to demonstrate this. This is all, this is, this is all I'm saying with it as well. Okay, so bear with me in this. This is what we. Uh, this basically will conclude uh, your class exercise number two. So this is what I would like for you to do with class exercise number two when you're done. When you're done, I like for you to uh, grab uh, your snipping tool, and you need to basically. Take a screenshot of all of your, your entire page with it. That's all. So save this, all right? I want to talk to you about this with it. Uh, since I have this in the 127.0.1, that's what you call your local host. This is your live server that you're running it from. The colon uh, 5500, that's the port. Bear with me. The folder that you're looking inside is class ex2, and the name of the file that you look under is index all of these are separated by the forward slash with it so you can see the forward slash that's separated every time you do a forward slash means what you're changing the directory going inside the directory with it all right make sure you understand this path with it all right and and have this uh complete for me take the screenshot of this by using your snipping tool so you come up here here's your snipping tool right here do new and take the whole browser i want to see that whole browser that you have for this right here all right, so take the whole browser for me. All right, I want to see the the the, the address 127.0.1. I want to see everything like you just did up here with it as well. Copy that, and you're going to open up your Microsoft Word. And this last part over here, you're going to actually put it on here and demo, uh, you know you're going to take the live server of the finished product and you're going to paste that right here. All right, that's what I want to see right here. Cool. All right, this will conclude the last part of the video. Uh, for this, and this is going to conclude uh, the class exercise number two. Please complete this by the due date for me, please.